Well, hey, I got Mike Phillips from Auto Geek in the shop with me today. How you doing, Mike? Great, Dennis. Well, you know, Achterlieber, looks like we got some German products here today. The, the Wolfgang line for you guys. Are these, are these German products? This is actually German technology manufactured in the United States. But this is probably one of, uh, one of your more premium lines? It's a very upscale premium line. It's a complete line. It starts down here with the car wash. Then there's a detailing clay with the mm -hmm. clay lubricant. There's a hand applied paint cleaner if you want to work by hand. Here's two machine applied swirl movers. There's a finishing glaze and a swirl mover. And then there's a polymer wax. Mm -hmm. It's actually German super polymers. Mm -hmm. And then down here we have what we call maintenance products. So one is a spray detailer for removing light fingerprints, dust, things like that. Or there's an actual spray on polymer wax to give it a protective coating. Spritz on, wipe off. Spritz on, wipe off. Well, how about in this fancy wooden box here? Okay. This is Wolfgang Fusion. And what this is is actually a hybrid. Now, in the car detailing world, you have complete synthetics and carnauba waxes. And this is a fusion of both. So it's German super polymers wow. blended with carnauba wax. So you get the high gloss, but you get the protection and longevity. And uh, that's the machine you use to apply these, right? Yes, this is actually a German tool too. This is the Flex 3401. It's a forced rotation dual action polisher. Now, <clears throat> all this wonderful stuff, can you, can you do some magic on that 55 Chevy over there? Yes, this uh, 55 Chevy here is extremely oxidized, yep. plus it's got swirls and scratches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a strip of tape here. We'll pull the tape line off. Check we'll the before them. and after. That's right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to use what's called the Wolfgang Total Swirl Remover. Now this is for removing oxidation, swirls, and scratches. And to apply this, I actually want to take and use that or light orange this cutting one here? pad. This okay. Exactly. There you go. And you can lay down a bead of product, or in this case here, because I don't want to get any splatter on the before side, I'm just going to go ahead and put some right directly onto the pad. All right. There you go. Now I'm going to take and spread this out, make a few passes, let the pad stop spinning, and if you could hand me microfiber, I'll microfiber. wipe off the residue. And should I be taking it off wet like you're doing? Or? Yeah, you don't want to let this dry. It's not a wax. It's just a, it's a polish. So what it's going to do is it's going to do the heavy lifting, so to speak. It's going to remove all the oxidation, mm -hmm. swirls, and scratches. Now what we want to do is we want to switch to a softer pad. Softer pad. Which, yep. like, what color do you like? I like the white one for okay, this Okay, we can do that. There you go. Okay, and again, we're just going to take and line this up, get it as centered as we can. If you can hand me the finishing glaze. Would that be... The Wolfgang finishing right next to it. Right next to it. This one? Uh, yeah. That's deep sealing. It would be Perfect. the finishing glaze. Okay. Give it a good shake. I'm going to take and apply some again right to the face of the pad. Just like that. There okay. you go. And I'm actually going to bump this down to the one setting just to spread it out. Then I'll push it up to the three. Turn it off, don't lift it off till the pad stops. And at this point, we're done with the flex. Okay. I'll take a clean microfiber. And it, just like the total swirl mover, you don't need to let this dry. Clean microfiber folded four ways. Put your hand in here. Just gently wipe that off. Man, it's looking good. That looks, this looks like you've actually waxed it already. It, that's how it looks. That's just how well the polishes work. Next up is actually put a coat of wax on it. Now, here's a little technique to get the wax out of the jar. Some people would actually take and scoop that. That's the wrong technique. What you want to do is put your pad here, and then what I do is I spin the jar, mm, and I kind okay. of spin my hand, and it kind of liquefies the wax, and now it's going to be super easy to spread out. Just come down here. Well, it does spread nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. It's, very, it's a very clear wax. It clarifies the finish. And this is a wax that doesn't need to dry. Okay, so a lot of waxes in the old days, you have to let them dry. You, really take, you take this off wet? Yeah, take it off wet. I'll give it one final wipe, then I want you to come in here and take a look at the difference. Whenever you're pulling tape off, you want to pull back at an angle just to be a little extra careful. Give it a final wipe. How does that look? That looks phenomenal. Looks like a brand new paint job. That is amazing. Well, hey. If you want to learn anything more about these great Wolfgang products from AutoGeek, log on to MyClassicCar.com. Now all we have to do is the rest of the truck. For classic performance products, cruise over to the Speed Shop Mall at EggySpeedShop.com. Next, we'll get back to Norman, Oklahoma and go cruising in the 51 Ford Woody Wagon.